Hey guys, this is Maxi Cool, along with the artist formerly known as Small Tummy Wonderful, now known as Pashuto Blade Warrior. How you doing? Thank you for joining me. Oh, no problem, Maxi Cool. I'm doing pretty good, and you didn't butcher my name. <sighs> I try. I try not to. I'm like, ugh. Of All course. Right. Hey, is that well, snow I see on the game? No, that's a chaff grenade, as uh, our good buddy Ron Mower used. Oh, nice. No, I was just wondering, because uh, today it actually snowed where I was at. Well, at the time of this recording, but it was actually nice to see snow for once. I hardly ever see it. Mm-hmm, sure. And the reason why Ron Mower can't continue the RP, or LP, is because he just got married this past Saturday. So everybody give him your uh, wishes, tell him, you know, congratulations if you haven't already yep. done that, and Ron, we got you on this LP. Yep, we totally got you, Ron. Alright, let's see what goes on here. Ooh, alright, who's calling us? Too quiet. Patrolling. It's too quiet. Maybe because they're all ready. They said they even input the PAL codes. What should I do? All we can do is right. use the oh, override man. system that President Baker told you about. Three keys. But I've only got one of the three keys. And besides that, like Tricks, I huh? said, there's some trick to using the keys. Leave it to me. You got some kind of plan? Well, I mean, three keys. Through. I have right enough now, trouble I'm keeping uh, just one key. Baker's private files. Baker's is this file. President Baker a Baker man? Of course, but I think so. Are you a Baker oh my. Cake. Yep, that describes me pretty well. Yes, as Gen 2 always says, get back in the kitchen and make me a sandwich and bake me something. If you're good <laughs> at it, at least. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh boy. Let's look around here. Let's see what we see. So soon, Otacon, you almost seem like a very clingy and stalker girlfriend. Exactly. Uh, not bad. I just got past his third security level. He was a pretty careful guy. Do you think you'll break in soon? I never met a system I couldn't bust into. Okay, keep trying. Jeez, I wonder how well Ron will do this time. All seeing that one LP where he failed quite a many, quite a, quite, quite, quite a bit. Quite actually. a many at a time, right, Mexico? Oh, I just failed right now, so what am I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're fine, Mexico. Yeah. So believe it or not, I've only beaten this game one time. I've only played it one time. Like I, I've never owned a PlayStation. I've never owned this game. But I borrowed uh, it from a friend, just to give it a go. And boy, it was I've, tough. I've played it once. I want to beat it again, but on the same difficulty level. And I still get cream. Nice. Snake, I did it. You got past security. Yeah, I think I like Sons of Liberty more. <laughs> yeah, you were telling me that you like Sons of Liberty better. Also, here it is a better game. Yeah, and I also like That's Snake Eater to too. But Snake, I found something else. What? The secret behind the new That new goes against the Start 2 plan the and the Start 3 the plan. Is designed to be fired from the rail <laughs> oh, like gotcha. It, it yeah, it's only because of our dead president of the early 90s, Herbert Walker. Oh, gotcha. Yes, but yep. And that's not even the nice fact, I didn't about know that. Weapon. He originally started the Start 1 plan, or the Start 2 plan, which is a disarmament of nuclear weapons. Ah, oh, okay, I gotcha. Yep. Nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
a missile, the railgun doesn't burn any propellant, so it can't be detected by any current ballistic missile detection systems. An invisible nuclear warhead. Totally impossible to intercept. And on top of that, it's got a surface-piercing warhead designed to penetrate hardened underground bases. Yeah, we learned that lesson in the Gulf War. This thing mm -hmm. could mean the end of the world. It's the ultimate weapon. And from a political point of view, it avoids the problem of nuclear reduction and this nuclear thing? inspections. It's like you can't Girl, tell me the short version of the story. Are you listening? Guys, I got like a mission to do. I'm listening. Talk to you guys later. If word of this Snake, out, no wait, we gotta talk to you right now. The start three treaty. The start three treaty. Yeah, it would be nasty. Yep. The United States would be denounced oh, by the boy. UN. It could even bring the president. Oh down. heavens. Did you know this, Colonel? I'm sorry. Change, As you Colonel. shouldn't make any excuses. Make any excuses. Snake, listen to me. This new nuclear weapon, it's never actually been tested, only simulated. You mean they ran a computer model? Yeah, that's why they were conducting this exercise. They needed to get actual experimental data to back up the simulation. What were the results of the exercise? It looks like it went better than they hoped for, but... I can't find the data anywhere on this network. You'd think the data as important as that would be carefully recorded. It was. President Baker gave me an optical disc with all of the test data. Well, it took Ocelot. it from me. Do you still have it? No. Ocelot took it from me. Damn. The terrorists have replaced the dummy warhead with a real warhead. Once they input the detonation codes, they should be ready to launch. So you think they can do it? Well, the dummy warhead was designed to be identical oh, to the man, real thing, so have I think work so. cut out for him, oh, isn't he? Out how to override it? Oh, for sure. But that's why they hand the big ones. Right now I'm looking through all right, Yeah, the considering the Metal Gear Rex is an all-terrain no, launcher from any uh, place, you name it. That's a threat. And of course, our good uh, friend uh, that's playing this game just kills everybody left, right, up, and down, and center. Yep. <laughs> he makes no offense count. Anything, but it's funny. So I guess those bullets, they have everybody's name on them. Mm-hmm. One for each name. One for each person. Are you feeling lucky, punk? Mm -hmm. Snake! Did you find it? No, I haven't found out about the override system yet, but I found Baker's ulterior motive. He's just looking to get rich, isn't he? Well, that's part of it. Arms Tech is in much worse financial trouble than I thought. I know they lost their bid to make the next generation fighter jet. That plus the reduction in SDI spending. It looks like there was even some talk of a hostile takeover. Everything was riding on this project, I guess. Derpa chief? It looks like <laughs> we were paying a lot of bribe money to the He took our germs! Bribe money, huh? Yeah, and Baker was a big proponent of the nuclear deterrent theory. I see. So anyway, what about the override? Oh, Just come give on. Me a little, little bit, bit longer. longer. How long do you want? Mm -hmm. Oh, heavens. It's like by the time, you know, he's... You know, he's finally done, we'll be done with this LP. No, I'm joking, we won't be done with the LP, not yet. Not for a while. <laughs> yeah. We're trying. Definitely trying. Okay, I vented the power codes and disengaged the safety device. Oh, this is certainly interesting. Time. There's still no response from Washington. It looks like we'll have to show them that we mean business. Chernodin? Hey, that's mentioned in Snatcher. No, there's been a change. The new Wait, I love Snatcher. <laughs> Why, boss? Snatcher's a great I'm game sure for the Sega CD and MSX. Really like I'm surprised that game's never came up on the ST2K channel. Liquid. Oh, just Why? wait. There's nothing there. Wrong. It's a nuclear test site. A nuclear test site? If we nuke a major population center, the game's over. But a nuclear explosion at a test site can still be concealed from the public. Meanwhile, Washington will be worried about the retaliatory strike from China. That'll probably mean top-secret talks between both countries' leaders. Of course. 
and in the process, the president will be forced to divulge the existence George of George Sears, otherwise known as the Snake. Chinese. What do you think that will do to the U.S.'s reputation or the president's? And with the CTBT, that means that China and India. I see. Yes. When the other countries hear about this new weapon, they'll all want to contact us. Washington won't be very happy when we start selling their own system to the highest bidders. Yes, the president will break. He will give in to our demands. One billion dollars. Oh man, that's quite a bit of money. <laughs> yeah, Austin Powers reference. Well. Yep, I love it. The first one's better than the other two. I'll leave it at that, because it's true. So it's true mm -hmm. that it, older first. it almost seems like that Mike Myers isn't going to be making a fourth Austin Powers movie at all at any point. Nope. Perhaps due to those Not even if the money's there. He's done. It's do only if the speculation is true, but I think well, I think Mike Myers is not going to make a fourth one. And they haven't worked out all the bug shit. In any case... Have you heard from your friend, Colonel Sergei Golukovich, at the Spetsnaz? He still has doubts about the ability of Metal Gear. He said we can talk after Metal Gear's test launch is successful. Hmm, he's a very prudent man. There's nothing to worry about. The Colonel wants Metal Gear and a new nuclear weapon so bad he can taste it. If Russia wants to regain its position as a military superpower, <laughs> you know I just forgot the Mega Millions is almost two billion dollars. I guess the best guy yeah. wanted his money so bad he could just buy a lottery ticket. Now the odds of winning those things are yeah, right. Go lottery ticket. <laughs> Slim to none. More like none. Oh yeah, plus it's a very addictive habit. For some people it is. I'm like, damn. And you know, people that I used to work with, as soon as they got off of work, they're like, oh, or when they get paid, they're like, alright, I'm gonna go buy some water tickets and scratchers and stuff. My uncle is like, yeah, yes. almost like the Hoax Hotel. It's sort of like how my dad's Facebook account, or one of them, uh, added me and posed as my dad, and I'm like, what is going on? Uh, that's crazy. Yeah, and I was like, have you heard about the Powerball Lottery? And I was like, okay, let me get the Hoax Hotel, thank you very much. I've also heard that the probability of winning those aren't very good, so yeah, why try? Yeah, it's, sorry, we're not listening to you. No, you listen to me. Sorry, no, not interested. Yeah, I look at the odds for like the Powerball, it's like ridiculous. It's like, damn, you got a better chance of getting shot the lightning like five times or whatever than you do actually winning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What I do gotta say though, that's more money than I would know what to do with. Yep. Like, even my neighbor was, uh, uh, there's a Facebook profile that randomly added me on the 19th of this month, and I was like, oh yeah, that's just a fake account. Like, what is it with all these fake accounts? They're everywhere. Yeah, and what's with these scammers that are out to fish personal information and your login to your Facebook? No, give us your information now. 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 Sorry, not interested. Nope, see ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Definitely wouldn't want to be ya. Yep. Great job. Great job. The promotion is, is yours. You've earned it. They've finished inputting the PAL codes. So how do we deactivate them? Okay. You see, the override so like I said, I've only beaten this game about. one time, it which is ridiculous, because, you know... And I've probably beaten it twice, I'm not sure. I've only beaten it once, but I know people that are really into this game are beating it. They're like, I've only beaten it once. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, I also like the uh, Twin Snakes more. But it takes three keys, right? Yeah, I saw the reviews for that, and people just genuinely like that game better, but, you know, everybody has yeah, their Yeah, because they actually added an easy mode that's actually similar to, uh, uh, Sons of Liberty. 
looking at, I mean, this game is pretty tough, you know. You, you see Ron Moore die a lot. You should just see me when I play this. I would never do an LP of this. Snatchers, to me, too, it's a lot more interesting. I, I really like the story. But I've never been into Metal Gear. Just saying. But I've been in so many Metal Gear LPs. So it's interesting. There should be a symbol on each screen. Each symbol corresponds to a different key. Input the keys in order from left to right. The left one's for the room temperature key. See the symbol? Oh boy. Next to that goes the low temperature key. The one on the right is the high temperature key. Okay, I got it. First yep. I change the shape of the card and then I input them in order, yep. right? This was used All in Metal Gear 2, Solid Snake. After you insert the key ah, in the okay. module, a hard disk reads the yeah. information contained. Yeah, Kojima is a brilliant, um, crazy the code game, game developer. But here's the thing, you can only use the key three times. It's an emergency system, it's only meant to be used once. The world is riding on that key, Snake. Who's that? <laughs> Damn. Oh, and that's a very costly fumble. There goes that card. Hope you had a spare one. No, I doubt you did. Wow, Liquid. Mr. Eli. Come on, Snake, you gotta get that key. It's the key. Get it? No, I'm checking. Horrible. Yep. Let's see if I could do some. Now he has to run for his dear life. I'll do some lame Ron jokes. No, I'm joking. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, somebody's getting all shot up here. No, he's definitely getting shot up. I guess Snake is now a holy man, get it? Oh, ooh, I like that one. That's actually good. Because Snake got filled with holes. <laughs> Better than what Dude, I was thinking. Looks like a solid snake with a cheese. What cheese would it be? It'd be Swiss cheese. Boo! No, <laughs> because of the holes. I guess Swiss cheese is considered a holy cheese among other people. If you say so. I didn't know mm -hmm. that. Just making some jokes. Hey, that's what STPK is all about. Make some jokes. Yep. Oh, I gotta love the nuclear drainage ditch. I mean, guys, we're here. We're doing this for fun. That's why we're here. Yep. Of course. Geez, I wonder what an old laptop from... When, when does this game take place? What year? <laughs> uh, like, at the... Literally... Just the new millennium just coming around. Oh, okay. Yeah, somewhere around like that takes above like 2001, 2003, maybe, maybe 2002. Yeah. I mean, I had a laptop from 2005. It wasn't very good. So imagine computers back then were expensive and not very good. Mm-hmm. I bet. I bet your Especially smartphone that you have now is better than any computer from back then. And Windows at the time. Oh, Windows yeah. XP. I love the Windows XP. Okay. I used to have a there Windows Millennium to Edition. To if anybody remembers that. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> man, dinosaurs, man. We're dinosaurs. We're old. We are, but we're cool. You know what's cool? Dinosaurs. Snake. Yeah, no, we're no, cool no, video no, game hipsters. Okay. He's looking into it. Turn your monitor Stegosaurus. Not sure. Okay, it's off. No one else can hear us. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Sorry, but I didn't want the colonel to hear. Okay, so what's up? I've got a good friend in the Pentagon. Yeah? He's the one who told me about it. It looks like the DIA recently developed a new type of assassination weapon. An assassination weapon? Snake, have you ever heard of something called Fox Die? No. Snake in this game awfully asks a lot of questions. It. Yeah. It's some kind of virus that, that targets specific people. I don't know all the details, but what are you trying to say? 
It's too similar. What is? The cause of death. Didn't the arms tech president and the dark chief, I mean, the you took our terms. Die of uh -oh. something that looked like a heart attack. Yeah. Well, apparently, Fox Die kills its victims by simulating a heart attack. No. You're telling me that Naomi was behind it? Snake, try to remember. Did Naomi give you some kind of injection? The nanomachines. She was in the best position to have done it, but I don't know what her motive was. Does the Colonel know? I'm not sure. But he still hasn't questioned her. Okay, I'll ask him myself. Colonel, what's new with the Naomi situation? I just placed Naomi under arrest. Arrest? She was sending coded messages towards the Alaskan base. I didn't want to believe it, but she must be working with the terrorists. Are you sure? I'm afraid so. She's being interrogated now. What kind of interrogation? Well, I'd like to avoid Yikes. the rough stuff, but we don't even have any sodium pentothal here. Call me if you find out anything. I can't believe So it. it's true, isn't it? Naomi, I can't believe it. That means the Fox Dye vaccine must be around somewhere. Listen, I've got bigger things to worry about. But Snake, you might be infected too, you know. Other than All Snake's only problem is, is rapidly aging. Snake, can you hear me? It's Naomi. Naomi? What the hell? Campbell and the others are busy right now. I'm on a different codec. Naomi. Is what the colonel says true? Yes. But not everything I said was a lie. Who are you? I don't know myself. Huh. I don't know that my real name or even what my parents looked like. I bought all my identification. But my reason for getting into genetics was true. Because you want to know yourself, right? That's right. I want to know where I came from. It's like, my I, age, I know absolutely my race, nothing about myself. Naomi. Of course. I was found in Rhodesia sometime in the 80s. It's like, wait, how do you know what's Naomi, though? Rhodesia? What's now known as Zimbabwe? Yes. Rhodesia was owned by England until 1965, and there were lots of Indian laborers around. That's probably where I got my skin color from, but I'm not even sure about that. Now, I will admit, before the first time I played through this game, I looked at the strategy guide and kind of knew what was coming through, what was going to happen, I know what else and I still died a lot. Yep. I was alone for so yeah. long. Yeah. Until I As in him alive. from the Powerpuff Girls, literally him. devil? Oh, I think that's... Yes. Yeah, that sounds about right. Frank Yeager. Uh, referencing the Powerpuff the Girls. Soldier. Yeah, I'm funny. You picked me up near the, mm, the good old days of Cartoon Network. I when was it was half good. Dead from starvation and he yeah. Shared his rations with me. I can't say yes. I haven't watched Cartoon, Cartoon Frank Network. Yeager, the man who you destroyed was my brother and my only family. 2013 oh, no. was the last time I watched Cartoon Network. Great Fox. I watched it only for Saturdays. Together, oh, nice. They had a lot of good stuff on Saturdays. Always good for anime. Yep. The only connection I have to my past. And he brought you yeah, back I don't even get me started about Cartoon yeah. Network. I was like, uh, was what the hell do they even do now? Game. I was like, man, I don't... I don't well, a lot of people are complaining about the president that's boss. spreading things. Yes. Ooh, okay. He brought us to this yeah, plan. Stuart Snyder is out of the picture, so that's uh, a huge then blessing. My brother went back to Africa awesome. To continue the war. Mm -hmm. and that's when it happened. Then again, I don't you watch cable at all very brother, much, so our satellite, any of that stuff, so yeah. I watch a lot of people stream more, and, or I spend time and days with day my that girlfriend. Would. That's good. So were your prayers mm -hmm. answered? Yeah, cable's just got way yes. too expensive. And I had a friend, have he has it. Yes. I have a friend, he so has cable, and pretty much sure every year it goes up. Yes. That's right. Yikes. Two years. Price gouging. You were all I thought about for two long years. Naomi Hunter sounds like a stalker and clingy still girlfriend me. there. Not exactly. I was partly wrong about you. What about Liquid and the others? <laughs> I'll have my revenge on them oh too. Oh boy. Thank you, Naomi. Naomi. You didn't kill that doctor too, did you? 
The one that used Gray Fox for his genome experiments? Dr. Clark? Dr. No. Clark turned out to be a sheep. That's paramedic. Oh. So never in so Snake Eater. Here. Dr. Robotnik. He's come here to kind of. Me. Almost. I don't think so. I think he just came uh, Dr. Eggman, I always forget. I Which one was Jim Carrey? I I <laughs> a final battle with oh you. heavens. That's all he lives for. I'm sure that Sonic it. movie was actually oh, pretty good. Oh. No. Naomi, tell me something. About Fox Die? Fox Die is a type of retrovirus that targets and kills only specific people. First, it infects the macrophages in the victim's body. Fox dye contains smart enzymes created through protein engineering. They're programmed to respond to specific genetic patterns in the cells. Those enzymes recognize the target's DNA? Right. They respond by becoming active and using the macrophages they begin creating TNF Epsilon. Huh? It's a type of cytokine, a peptide which causes cells to die. The TNF Epsilon is carried along the bloodstream to the heart, where they attach to the TNF receptors in the heart cells. And then, they cause a heart attack? The heart cells Otherwise, a uh, uh, hot ketosis. They kind of explain that in the Star Fox then, Assault for the GameCube. Oh, okay. Apatosis. Sounds painful. Yeah. You mean the heart cells commit suicide? Yeah. Naomi. What? You must have Apoptosis is to kill me too. definitely right. an interesting subject. Do I still have time? Naomi, I don't blame you for wanting me dead, but I can't go yet. I still have a job to do. Listen, Snake. I'm not the one who made the decision oh, to use what? Fox Mexico? Eye. Huh? You weren't? No. Oh. You were injected with Fox dye as a part of this operation. I just wanted to let you know that. No, that's not the whole truth. Uh -huh. The real thing I wanted to tell you was... Snake, I... I... Hey, what are you doing? <gasps> oh, snake! <gasps> Naomi! Snake, I can't allow Naomi to make any more unauthorized transmissions. What? Naomi's been removed mm. from this operation. What happened to Naomi? What did she mean when she said that Fox Die was a part of this operation? Colonel, let me talk to her. I won't. She's under arrest. You betrayed me, Colonel. Oh. Don't cross me. Snake, there's no time for that. Right now, your job is to stop Metal Gear. Okay, Snake? <laughs> oh boy. Oh. You know, things were already pretty bad. Now they're about to get a whole lot worse. Sorry, things Snake. just hit the fan now that the, uh... Oh, now yeah. that it's been activated. Thank you, Snake. Now the detonation code is completed. Nothing can stop Metal Gear now. Master, what's going on? You found the key. Express and my gratitude. The for us too. I really must express my Shape memory alloy business. Sorry to have involved you in that what are we talking about? Alloy business. Holy crap. What are you talking the about? The DARPA Chief's Code. We weren't able to learn the DARPA Chief's Code. Even with Mantis' psychic powers, he couldn't read his mind. Then Ocelot accidentally killed him during the interrogation. In other words, we weren't able to launch the nuclear device, and we were all getting a little worried. Without the threat of a nuclear strike, our what demands would never be met. What do you mean? Without the detonation codes, we had to find some of the reasons. That's when we decided you might prove useful, Snake. What? First, I thought we might get the information from you, Snake, so I had Decoy Octopus disguise himself as the DARPA chief. Unfortunately, Octopus Fox didn't survive the, the encounter. Oh, that's very unfortunate Thanks to, to hear that. He didn't survive. 
You mean you yeah, had yeah. this plan from the beginning? Just to get me to input the detonation code? Far by yourself, huh? did you? <laughs> you didn't think you made Who it this far by yourself, did you? Who the hell are you? In any case, the launch preparations are complete. Once the world glimpses the power of this weapon, the White House will have no choice but to surrender the Fox Dye vaccine useless now. to me. Their ace, ace in the, the hole, hole is useless now. Huh. Ace in the hole. The Pentagon's plan to use you was already oh. successful in the torture room. <laughs> What are you talking about? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Poor fool. Yeah. Who are you anyway? I'll tell you everything you want to know. If you come where I am, that is. Dear where brother. Where are you? Very close by. You're too See? late. That's not Master yeah, you're, you're very late. Campbell. Even I knew this was coming. But then again, I remember how to strike you guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's been dead for at least three days. I didn't know because my codec leak with Master was cut off. Directly inside the base. Like, literally, right the there. He's right so there. He's in front of you. Snake, me, you dear brother. Hmm. It was me, Austin. It was me all along. No! You may die now. Uh-oh. Lovely. Talk about having a bad day. This is a really bad day. Snake, that's bulletproof glass. You uh, couldn't Snake break it open with a rocket launcher or something? Hey, that would work, wouldn't it? Well, yeah. But you would have to think about the recoil of the explosion, too. Of oh. Nikita. Or whatever. Yeah, I would end up blown up already by now. All right, let's blow up our let's blow our way out of here. Boom. Oh, I'm security. dead. Mm -hmm. Snake, I'm opening the yeah. door. But I gotta say, Ron's editing skills has gotten better. Snake. Mhm. Mm Ah, uh, here we go, the part no everybody's way. been waiting for, yeah, including myself. Did you like my sunglasses? You point a weapon at your own brother? Why did you disguise yourself as master? So I could manipulate you more easily. And you performed quite well, I must say. Although the boys at the oh, Pentagon boy. are probably saying the same thing. What the hell are you talking about? Following orders blindly with no questions asked, you've lost your warrior's pride and become nothing more than a palm snake. What? Stopping the nuclear launch, rescuing the hostages, it was all just a diversion. A diversion? The Pentagon only needed for you to come into contact with us. That's what killed the arms tech president and decoy octopus. You don't mean... That's right. You were sent here to kill us so they could retrieve Metal Gear undamaged, along with the bodies of the genome soldiers. From the beginning, the Pentagon was just using you as a vector to spread Fox Die. Fox Die? It can't be. Are you telling me Naomi was working with the Pentagon? They thought she was, but it seems that Dr. Naomi Hunter couldn't be controlled so easily. What? We've got a spy working in the Pentagon. He reported that Dr. Hunter altered Fox Dye's program just before the operation. Laser Fon Trible. Why? I wonder. Huh. Maybe no they can find out the answer to that. No doubt. Petty revenge? No idea she was motivated by such a petty revenge. We still don't know what changes she made to Fox Dye's program. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I've already is it an unsolicited demand uh, liquid? I would say so. Man, this is the Metal Gear game that 
pretty much like all my friends would always brag about. Oh yeah, you gotta play it. It's awesome. It's on two discs. It's a long ass game. It's the boss battles, everything. And they would just glow and talk and talk and talk about this game. And then they'd be like, hey, Yeah, of course the game also has some wacky amount of glitches. That too. Remember I had a friend find out like a few of them and he showed me and was like, Whoa, how'd you figure that out? Because so I guess the game testers mm -hmm. didn't see that. Yeah, Well, then again, you can't catch everything. Twins. Twins of Antaribe. Les enfants terribles. You're fine. You got all the old man's dominant genes. Yeah, I'll put this I game on my games that I'll probably Everything never play again. Probably because the list I have of uh, games that I do want to play is so damn long. I was the favorite, huh? That's right. Mm. I'm just the leftovers of what they Yeah, so I used to get to those, those uh, tips and tricks Can magazines, and like once the strategy guide came out for this, I was like, oh, you okay. Born? Look this over. Oh, okay, got to yeah. Fight like Psycho Mantis in the second controller port. I was like, this is interesting. Yeah. Of course, my friends were all jealous. They're like, I can't believe that you spoiled the game. I mean, I kind of did, but you still have to play through it. And it's not a very easy game. Even if you know what's going to happen, where to go, mistakes happen. Yeah. Just look at a previous part that Ron War kept hitting the laser, kept getting caught, kept getting killed. Mm -hmm. That's happened to me quite Multiple a bit too. Multiple occasions. And also stepping on a, his own claymore mind. If Bushido Blade Warrior had a dollar for every time I died in this game, he'd be a pretty rich man. I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, you, you have more than a dollar. <laughs> I must have died over like a hundred times this, 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 my first playthrough of this game. Oh, yeah, I suck. Mm -hmm. yeah. At least a hundred. Maybe like ninety-five. Yeah, like, damn, that's so cool. You suck. I was like, yep, I definitely ain't playing this game again. There would be no LP of me playing this. Yep. Who would have thought that Liquid Snake was a pretty good uh, Gundam pilot or a Mecha pilot? Huh. It just comes natural to him. Mm-hmm. Is he some sort of new type? Huh. Could be. Gundam reference. Hmm. Impregnable. <laughs> and you can need a bigger gun. No, I'm joking. The latest advances in compound armor. The only way you can pierce it is with a high performance heat round. So what do I do? Rex's pilot seat operates exactly like a VR system. It's got multiple sensors connected to a high tech interface used for the controls. It's completely self enclosed and shut off from the outside environment. He's not using his naked eyes. That's right. So if you could somehow destroy the sensors, the radio. You see that round plate on Rex's left arm? Yeah, that thing that looks like a shield. That's a radio. If you can destroy that thing, it won't be able to use its electronic equipment. So he'll be blinded. Yeah. Try to hit that radio with a stinger missile. So that will stop it. No. Mm -hmm. Rex was designed so it can be controlled manually too. Oh, great. The part that looks like a beak is where the pilot seat is. In an emergency, it'll open up. Rex's armor is perfect. You different can't story. It. You told me that already. But the interior is a different story. I get it. The cockpit. First, I destroy the radome. That will force him to open up the pilot seat. Right. If you can shoot a stinger missile into the cockpit, you'll destroy the computer controls. I like to think of it as a character flaw. Point. It's not a weak point. I Me like too. Huh. People just aren't completely yep. some type of character flaw, don't you think? I guess so. Oh boy, let's see how this goes. This is gonna be certainly interesting. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Good amount of damage. Ugh. I didn't like the missiles. But there's 
ways to dodge the, the missiles that get shot. Just try not to get trampled, right? Yeah, that would suck. Ask all the bugs well, I stepped on. I'm sure they didn't like it. Mm-hmm. I mean, considering if you get too close to Metal Gear's feet, and... <clears throat> Liquid just decides to you know, step on you, yeah, it's basically instant game over, so it's an instant death if you get too close. Yep. That's why bugs stay away from your feet, because they know if they end up under that shoe, they're dead. Same thing with Snake. He's like, mm -hmm. oh! That's for sure. I remember that stupid fatality from Mortal Kombat 3, Jax or whatever, he grows all big and then he steps on you. I found that Oh more, yeah, Mortal Kombat 3 and I found that more Mortal hilarious Kombat. than anything else. <laughs> Funniest stuff ever. It was. That was the game when they just decided, well, we're gonna try it. We're gonna try whatever we feel like. Animalities, babalities, friendships. Yeah, things that just got silly with time. That did. I think they figured, like, well, people were already established. We could do whatever we want, so why not? Mm-hmm. Yep. No, but that game did have some pretty awful fatalities. I think Smoke had one too where he just, like, shoots out a bunch of bombs and just blows up Earth. I'm like, uh -huh. Oh, that's definitely Smoke there. He just blows up the whole planet with you in it. So I guess there's re really no winner there. I guess that's a fatality slash har Harakiri. I'll show you. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Smoke wins. No, he doesn't. Nobody wins. We're all dead. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I really am not a fan of this boss battle here. Neither am I. This game, the, this part, was the part that took me the longest, and I was just like, ugh. Yeah, the missiles were kind of unfair. Very unfair. See, this is the part two where I played it and I got so close and I almost, almost and I just like, ugh, I give up. Right. After trying so many times, you're just like, I can't do this anymore. Alright, I'm done. Can't do it anymore. I can't do it anymore. Go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Go. No, it sucks even more, like you said, when, you know, the missiles, but, you know, when you're so close to beating him, and then you just die, and you're just like, oh, all that work yeah, for nothing. Yeah, and you get stepped on, and you're like, mm, so angry. Yes, that when I got stepped on the first time, I was like, I didn't know I could die like that. And I was like, well, it kind of makes sense now, but yep. I felt more humiliated than anything else. Yeah, it's kind of a slap in the face. Exactly. Exactly. That's how I seen it too. I was like, "Wow, you know, you couldn't kill me with your cold missiles, but you could just step on me." Yeah, it's sort of like how I don't like. Uh, you have to wait until you shoot bosses again because of their invincibility frames. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's I hate that. cheap. <laughs> well, time for uh, Gray Fox's last stand. And it's brutal. Viewer discretion is advised. Gray Fox is unbelievably super strong. Oh yeah. Holy cow. Plus, I like how they kind of make Gray Fox kind of like Mega Man with that built-in gun. I love it. Yep. Fox, why? What do you want from me? I am a prisoner of death. Only you can free me. Fox, stay out of this. What about me only? She's hell-bent on taking revenge for you. Naomi! You're the only one who can stop her. No, I can't. Why? Because I'm the one who killed her parents. I was young then, and couldn't bring myself 
to kill her too. I felt so bad that I decided to take her with me. I raised her like she was my own blood to soothe my guilty conscience. Even now she Remember after playing through this boss battle, I was like, oh cool. So I see this one. I'm like, oh hell yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we all know sure. what I did it! It was me all along! I'm the one who did it! So no, I won't let you take credit for that. I will tell them I did it. Hmm. Oh man, that's not a very good idea. Well, Grey Fox is about to be done a uh, pancake. Ouch. Ouch. We hunt jackals. Beyond ouch. We hunt jackals. Instead of fox hounds, we use royal harriers. Fox. How strong is that exoskeleton? Watch him die. <laughs> Um, we got a hostage situation you, you here. Now, oh, Snake, you yellow belly pansy. <laughs> My words exactly. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Ugh, brutal. Snake, we're not tools of the government or anyone else. Fighting was the only thing, the only thing I was good at. But at least I always fought for what I believed in. Snake. Goodbye, Fox. It was nice knowing you. Oh. You had a family, damn it! Look what he did, JR! Crushed him! Crushed him, crushed his dreams, crushed every bone in his body. Yeah. Foolish man! Yeah. He prayed for death, and it found him. Oh man. See, this is not good. Anyone, not even yeah, no, yourself. Not well, that's that. And until next time. Alright, until part 10. Until next time, guys. Thanks for joining us.